I'm, I'm uh, resigned to it now. It came as a shock. He was diagnosed last December. The vet felt his lymph node was swollen. And so it, one thing led to another. We did all these tests and, it, and it's lymphoma, which is 100% fatal in dogs. But he doesn't know it. There's a, in, with lymphoma, there's, there's no pain. And it's just a matter of how they respond to the chemotherapy. And chemotherapy in dogs right, isn't like in humans. When, when you say it for a human, it's like, oh, God, you know, I'm going to lose all my hair, I'm going to be sick. Uh, dogs don't, they, dogs respond quite well. We want to give, we want to extend their life. We know we can't cure it. But we want them to be comfortable and, and have quality of life. And for, for Gus, quality of life is doing this sport. It was really tough when it hit us. It was like disbelief. Hey, 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 the advantage we have as humans over the dogs is the dog doesn't know he has lymphoma. I mean, if it was you or me, we'd go, oh shoot, I've got lymphoma, I, I have three months to six months, I, and, and it would skew our whole view of life. Of course, we tell ourselves, I live every day, but you know, you'd always have that constant dread. He doesn't know, so that makes it a little easier for me to take.